Hello there, Boomer Bros. Welcome back to World of Boomercraft. I'm Boomer, and I'm here with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you. Have you heard of the brand new cryptocurrency, Krachboom Coins? What the hell are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just greeting our audience. Sure you are. Go on then. Well, today we talk about the Eastern Plague Lanes. Nope. That was in the last episode. You were advertising your stupid Dr. Boomstink sponsor again. First, he's a professor. Second, he's... Yeah, 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 let me stop you right there. People aren't interested in our stupid jokes anymore. So, let's just talk about today's review. Okay. Today we're talking about the Northern Stranglethorn Whale, our next level 25 contested zone. Let's move on to the backstory. There is a lot to talk about. Today's zone, the Northern Stranglethorn Whale, is a really interesting one. I know, I say that in almost every video, but why am I saying it this time? The Northern Stranglethorn Whale was originally part of the universally called Stranglethorn Whale. But why did that change? Don't worry, we will talk about that in a few minutes. But I want to know it now! Just be patient, my metallic friend. To explain the backstory of the Northern Stranglethorn Whale, we have to take a little journey back in time. Can we get an old-timey black and white filter on this video? Thanks a lot. A long, long time ago, there was a place called the Stranglethorn Whale. This vast green jungle on the Eastern Kingdom was once home to the Guru Bashi Trolls. You may remember those guys from our Darkspear Trolls review. So for those of you who didn't see that video or don't remember, let me give you a quick introduction. The Guru Bashi were one of the two big troll empires and they had their capital in the troll city of Zul Gurub. Incidentally, Zul Gurub can be found in the modern day Northern Stranglethorn Whale. Can you believe it? There isn't much to say about the Guru Bashi, but their hunger for power made them worship the blood spirit Hakar. But it turned out that the blood spirit only wanted to use the trolls to have them bring him into the real world so he could wreak havoc on it. I don't know what they were expecting. He is called the blood spirit. Some of the Guru Bashi trolls rebelled against Hakar's high priest and managed to fight the spirit off with the help of the Sandalari trolls. The remaining trolls divided into smaller tribes with one of them being the Darkspear Troll tribe. Speaking of which, to this day it's still unknown when the Darkspear Trolls were kicked out of the whale. At least that's what the wiki article says. And you know, everything on the internet is true. For example, here's a totally real picture of myself. What else happened in the Stranglethorn Whale? The chieftain of the Bleeding Hollow Orc clan, a guy named Killerock Deadeye, led his people there in the First War to make a new home there but they got their asses handed to them by the local trolls. I just wanted to mention that. And last but not least, there is the town of Booty Bay. Booty Bay started out as a small port used by humans before trolls took over the harbor. Sometime before the first war, the goblins of the Steamwheel cartel stepped in and claimed the Booty Bay for themselves. It remains in their hands to this day. But Booty Bay isn't actually in the northern Stranglethorn Whale, so why am I talking about it? Boomer, did you edit my script again so we could talk about Chicky? No, 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 no. It wasn't me. I swear. I have an eye on you, buddy. Well, so that's all we have to talk about what happened in the past. So let's go back to the future. What happened to the Stranglethorn Whale during Deathwing's return? That's right, the aspect of death is back. Oh yeah, baby. Some things changed in the Stranglethorn Whale during the Cataclysm and the biggest difference is the separation of the Whale into the Northern Stranglethorn and the Cape of Stranglethorn. The two areas are now separated by a big whirlpool which can be found in the Northern Stranglethorn Whale. I don't want to spoil too much of the game in the backstory segment, so let's close the book here for now. Are you guys ready to take a dive into the game? Great, let's go! There is a lot to do in the Northern Stranglethorn Whale, and as it is with most contested zones, a lot of the storylines on the Horde and the Lion side intersect. So to avoid talking about the same stuff over and over again, I will start out with the Alliance quests and the Neutral quests. After that, we will head over to the Horde side to finish things off. This time around, our adventure begins in a camp, close to the border to the Duskwood. 
he will meet a group of rebels. Rebels? Rebels against what? I'm glad you asked, Boomer. What? I didn't ask a thing. You see, a long time ago, there was a Stormwind expedition going to the Strangled Thorn Whale. This expedition was led by a guy named Kurzen. Little fun fact, Kurzen is a German word for short one. I wonder what he's overcompensating with that long saber. Oh, I got just the right thing for him. Professor Krachboom's pe- No, Boomer. No. Back on track. Everything went fine and dandy for the expedition, until the ogre wizard Maizov showed up. Maizov used a powerful artifact, called the Mind's Eye, to take control over the expedition, to use them for mining and other profitable stuff. But what does all of that have to do with the rebels I talked about earlier? Those rebels are actually former members of that expedition, who managed to break out of the eye's control. They are now trying to free the other members, and of course, they do ask us for help. The first thing to do now is to travel to Kurzen's camp and figure out what they are up to. We obtain their prison records and learn that some of our rebel friends got captured by them. And that's not all. It also turns out that the expedition has a new leader, a guy named Eskriwell. He took over after you threw Kurzen from a tower. Apparently that's a normal thing to do. We decide to free the prisoners and search the camp for Eskriwell's commanding officers. We kill his crew and close things off with killing Eskrivel himself. Now, that was kinda easy. But wait, there's more! That's right, Boomer. One of the freed prisoners, called Emerine Eunice, asks us for help. She wants to obtain the heart of Nias, who is a powerful water elemental, chilling in the Stranglethorn Whale. I can't really tell you why she wants it, because I really don't understood that myself. I guess it's for water studies or something. The gist of it is that we head to the Vile Reef and kill some water ghosts for their bracelets. Oh look at that, we can summon Amarina to turn in quests. That's nice. And things don't end here. To unlock the bracelet's powers and summon Nias, we have to crack them open with some sea salt. Now where would we get that from? No. No. <laughs> Not the Merlocks. Not the Merlocks! <laughs>
With that gruesome task out of the way, we have to travel to the Blood Scalp's home and kill their witch doctor Natsliok. You see, Natsliok wouldn't tell us where Yeniku is when he was alive, but thanks to Niboya's magic, his severed head is willing to tell us. Don't ask, it's a troll thing. But nothing in life is free. In exchange for Yaniku's whereabouts, Natsliok wants a bunch of troll skulls to use their trapped spirits as slaves in the nether. Don't ask, it's a troll thing. After crying him some new friends, he finally spills the beans. Yeniku is under the mind control of the Gurbashi troll Zanzil. To break this spell, we need some really, really powerful magic. You should try Professor Krachbooms anti stooge cape. No, I won't. Instead, we head to the troll village of Bambala and learn that the only thing powerful enough to break Sansa's spell is the mind's eye. Hang on. We already talked about that one. We head over to the Mosh Orc hideout and challenge Mazov for the stone. He's kind of a pushover. Those Alliance guys must be real puss <coughs> if they couldn't just do him in themselves. With the help of the eye, we are able to create a soul gem to free Yaniku. A soul gem, huh? Why do I get a strong Diablo vibe from this? Hey, Rue, you should totally check out Diablo 3, season 14 just started. Shoo, get out of here. And that concludes Yaniku's rescue. But there's one more thing that I have to talk about. Just like with the Nessing Rary Hunters, there's one more quest line that is the same for the Horde and Alliance. During my time in the whale, I picked up the egg of a Lashtail Raptor. And just look at the little dude. Isn't she cute? Just look at her little horn. You guys like her too? I call her Nippy. I love her already. Oh, and all the fun we had together. But it's not all fun in games. During our journey, Nippy did find a strange troll skull. With the help of our boy Nimboya, we are actually able to talk to the skull and it turns out that its owner was once a powerful troll lord. The skull pleads to us to resurrect him and we promptly agree. All we have to do is to kill the blood skull troll chief Ganzula, because he needs a body, and collect some mojo from the skull splitter trolls. Don't ask, it's a troll thing. But this is where things take a dark turn. Our efforts in resurrecting the skull bears fruit, and it turns out that the guy is actually the Bloodlord Mandukir, a former leader of the Gurubashi Trolls. We have to learn the hard way that you shouldn't trust a talking skull. Mandukir takes Nimboy hostage and demands Nippy in a trade for our friend's life. Hang in there, Nippy! Papa's coming to rescue you! You have to do something, Ru! Oh, I will. We head back to Bambala to ask the priestess Hurala for help. With her assistance, we are able to see through Nippy's eyes and figure out that Mandukir brought her to Sulgurup. And that's not all. Apparently, she's also the daughter of Ogon, a former companion of Mandukir. But don't worry, I got a plan to get her out. Again, with the help of Hurala, we are able to communicate with Nippy and help her escape from Sulgurup. Come on, girl, you're almost out. You can't do this. No! No! She's stuck in there! Boomer, we have to get in there and rescue her! But how? Tulgurup is a heroic level 85 dungeon! And you are only level 42! Prepare my paladin. Are you sure? God damn it, just do it, man! You want to take my baby away from me? I kill you! I kill you all! Oh, I kill your ghosts too! They're already dead? I don't care. I kill them again! Die! 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 Oh, we meet again, Manduk here. You messed with the wrong kangaroo. Okay, it may not have been that dramatic. But look, Nippy stays with us now. Come on, girl, let's go home. Phew, that was pretty emotional. What do you think, guys? 
I like the part with the trolls. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. But our adventure in Stranglethorn isn't quite finished. We still have to talk about the Cape of Stranglethorn. But that's going to be the topic of the next video. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know by hitting the like button or leaving a comment. It became a Kinga Ball today by subscribing to the channel. Do it! Do it now!